Right, next up, um, I want to give the floor uh, some kind of colour. So um, I'm going to use a sort of limestone, old fashioned type tile on this, like a floor tile, they're quite big. So we open V-Ray. Just give it a couple of seconds to load up. Um, click on this little circle here, which is the material. And you click on the plus sign down here. Go to materials, generic. Rename that, so I'll just call it floor tiles so we can keep track of what's what. I don't know why it's jumped to another thing, but anyway. Oh, there we go. I've already got some in the scene, but um, just to show you how I got that, um, you go to this little checkbox here, which is the um, bitmap, just so you load it in. Then you navigate to all of your saved materials. Um, on your hard drive, wherever you want to find it, and you can get all sorts of materials from the internet. So floor tiles, and just find what I'm looking for. There we go. So this limestone floor tile thing, and you can see the bitmap. You go up one, and then change the view to floor, and then just give a little bit of reflection. That's a bit too much. So this slider here is like the gloss and the matte or roughness as it's called, glossiness, you don't want too much. And then reflection colour, it actually means the brightness of the reflection. So again, we only want something very subtle, that's fine. So to assign that, let's double click the floor, then go back, right click and then apply to selection. Right, you can see that um, the scale is way too small. So this time we go into the SketchUp materials, go into Edit, and then let's increase the size. This is um, linked in proportion, so um, it won't distort. So I'm going to add an et zero on that, which will scale it up by 10. And still want it slightly bigger, so let's go up another around 50%. Let's call it 4,000. Yeah, that'll do. And save it. 